Hi, it's Roisin from Sweet Eve Science and today I'm bringing you part one of how to design this faulty and fabulous cake topper. First, let's start with the text. So we're going to use a text which you're going to need to download from the font called Billionaire Dreams. I'll put the link in the description. Now type out the name that you want to use. Now we're going to enlarge our text to make it easier to work with. We're going to ungroup and move all of our letters together so that they are touching. You can see here the C and the A, they're not quite connected the way I would like them to be. So I've just moved them closer and then I'm going to group. Don't weld at this stage. Now make your text really, really big and apply an offset. I went with 0.15, but you may need to mess around with it depending on how big you've made your text. Then we're going to repeat that four times. So in total, you'll have six layers. And then resize. Then we're going to use our panel on the right hand side to select all of the letters in the first layer and then we're going to weld them. Then group everything together and resize. I just made it slightly bigger because I'm going to change the colors using the panel on the right hand side and it just makes it easier to see how the colors will sit together. This is an optional step, but I like to do this to help me visualize the project. Then you're going to duplicate the first layer. Now this is where we're going to create the almost half effect that you see at the bottom of the name on this top arm. So it almost looks like two different elements to one name. So we're gonna grab a square from the left-hand shapes panel then we're going to unlock it and make it wider, almost like a long rectangle. And then centre the back. This way you can line up your text and see if it's in the middle or not. It doesn't have to be perfectly in the middle, it really depends on your word. But just get it kind of roughly where you think it looks good. And then slice. And then go ahead and delete everything apart from the bottom slice part that you'll need to keep. And change the colour because you want it to be a different colour from the colour of your main text. Then I went ahead and placed this on top so I can kind of see where it would sit and whether I was happy with where I sliced it out. And I'm quite happy with that so I'm going to leave it as is. And that's your name text done. So now we're going to group this and hide it so that we can work on a different element. So now we're going to work on the age and we're going to use a Cricut Design Space font called Bernadette MC Condensed. I will add the information in the description box. So we're going to go ahead and type out our age and then we're also going to separately type out the and sign. Then we're going to ungroup the age and move them slightly closer together and align at the bottom and group. And also we're going to resize the and to make it slightly smaller than the main age. Be sure to align the age and the and at the bottom and then group. Now we're going to work on our offset. So again, we're going to need to make it really large. The reason I do this is because you'll get a more intricate offset the bigger that the word or the letter is. Then we're going to apply the same offset, 0.15 in my instance. And we're going to do that three times. So in total, we'll have four layers. Then we're going to resize and we're going to duplicate the back layer and we're going to send it to the back. Then we're going to duplicate the and and also the number and we're going to change the colours. And for me, I decided to use an acetate layer on top of my and, so I also duplicated that. But this is an optional step and then I just put everything back into place. Now I'm going to hide this to move on to the fabulous text. So we're going to type that out using the same font that we just used, the Bernadette one. And we're going to ungroup our letters and move them slightly closer together. So they're not touching, but almost touching. Make sure that you align at the bottom because we're doing this manually. And also group. Then I'm going to enlarge it because I'm going to do my offset. And I'm going to apply the same offset that I've done throughout, 0.15 and I'm going to repeat it four times. So in total, you will have six layers. Then we're going to group and resize. And then we're going to duplicate the back layer and center the back. And then we're going to make sure that we center and group and change the colors. Then we're going to duplicate the first layer 
and we're going to do the same that we did with uh, the name so we're going to grab a square from the left hand shapes panel unlock it and make it into a rectangle at this point make sure that you weld the fabulous text together the reason being is that if you try to slice it out and it's not welded it won't work because it needs to be one shape to use the slicing tool delete anything that's not needed and move that up to the top and then we're going to unhide everything and then resize and make sure that you add your number and your and uh, to the front and center the name and the fabulous horizontally you may need to move your age around until you kind of got it sitting in a place that's not hiding the text too much so that doesn't have to be dead center and you may also need to resize it now until you kind of get it right so you're just looking to see that everything's clear and then you're going to group all of this together now we're going to duplicate this and then what we're going to do is weld. This is going to give us the backing and the guide for where we want our different pieces of text to go. And then we're going to change the color of this if we need to, to fit with our theme. And then we're going to send that to the back. We're going to enlarge it now because we're about to do our offset. And we're going to apply our offset twice, the same 0 0.15 twice. So you'll have two offsets. And then we're going to group it all and resize. Now at this point, you can also change your colors to make sure it's matching your theme and to give you an idea of how everything's going to sit. And then duplicate your back layer. Now I use acetate on my back layer. So I actually duplicated the one before the back layer because I don't want my acetate to be my back layer um, and my backing because they're clear so if you're not using acetate on the back then just go ahead and duplicate the back because that will be cardstock and that's your 40 and fabulous cake topper done part two of the assembly tutorial will be following shortly and if you want to get an alert when it's available make sure to hit the subscribe button up here in the right hand corner so that you get an alert and also like and comment on this video if you found it helpful Check out my other tutorials linked here also and be sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok and Pinterest for more content. Thank you for watching and take care. Bye.